What is going on, all you console buffoonists and uh, peoples of the internet? I am Patty Jack, and I'm I'm playing some Homefront. This is a this is a ground control map on Angel Island. I think I went 20 and 12 in this match. Uh, I apologize if I if I lose my train of thought in this commentary because it's uh it's pretty early on a Sunday morning. And I'm I'm still on my second cup of coffee, so we're gonna have to all deal with that now, aren't we? Um. Anyways, I wanted to I wanted to talk to you guys about a about a specific topic today. Um. As I as I snipe people in the face. Um. Speaking of Speaking of sniping people in the face, this is a this is a prime example of why you don't want to run straight towards the objective at the start of the match because if there's one sniper in the back, he's gonna be he's just gonna be picking off your entire team and letting his team like go in there and kill everyone and and, and like apparently in this situation I was that sniper and I destroyed everyone and then I just kind of chilled there for a while see if anyone else came and kind of defended the objective and then I went on my merry way so um at the start of the match and at the end of the match too um you definitely don't want to run towards the objectives cuz you're going to get you're going to get shot in the face by someone a couple hundred yards away so yes uh moving on I want to talk to you guys today about about, I don't, about kind of commentating in general and um how to get how to get kind of well known in commentating cuz I know I know I'm not well known in all this stuff but uh I feel that I've learned a couple things already in my short time doing commentaries and things that uh Sometimes people miss, or sometimes people just don't gauge if they really want to maximize their views and all that stuff. So I just kind of want to talk to you guys about a couple things, and uh, and basically kind of how to get well known and how to just kind of have fun while you're doing it still, so you don't get overwhelmed with all this stuff and you feel like you don't want to do it anymore. Because of, because of course it's stressful. Of course you get overwhelmed at some point, but you know sometimes you just gotta suck it up. And like if you really love doing it, you have to you have to pull through and get it all done. So. Basically, the first thing I want to say is that um, if you're if you are getting well known on YouTube a little bit, then you wanna you wanna try to make connections with people. And I know I know it seems really obvious that you should do this and stuff, but um, by making connections, then you basically you basically make it so like if someone say boxes you on their channel, um, that makes it so everyone to their channel see, might see your name, and then they might say, oh, that guy looks kind of kind of interesting, so they might click on you, and you might receive a subscriber. Um. Simil similarly, wow, I can't talk this morning. La la la. Similarly, um, you may, hey, like, make friends with someone, and then they'll give you a shout out in their video. Um, I know it's like even if they only have like 20 subscribers, um, even one of those 20 subscribers coming in, um, that's another subscriber for you, and that is like, you shouldn't say, oh, I only have 20 subscribers, I must suck. Um, to me, every subscriber counts. Uh, no matter, no matter what. No matter how I get them, no matter how many I have, I always love all my subscribers. I try to keep a real keep in touch with all my fan base as much as I can. Listen to me talking fan base. I'm I'm not that famous. I I realize this. I I apologize if I offend any of you, any of you other people watching this video. So yeah, by making connections through people, then you really do kind of get your get your channel started. You get you get to know people, and and then you kind of just it helps you get more. Or I don't know, YouTube famous, I guess is what you'd what you'd have to call it. And um, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much it. And while you're having while you're making all these connections connections and stuff, there's no reason why you can't have fun while you're doing it because by making friends with people on YouTube, then you can eventually get to know them a bit better and maybe play with them online and all this stuff. And it gets you can like develop a relationship with people. And I think I think if you really want to be successful in doing this type of stuff, you really need to do that. Um. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're just gonna end up like posting 30 second montage clips from Black Ops, and um, God knows we have enough of those in the world. Um, I guess another thing that makes you that might make you a bit more well known, or you might or might make people like you a bit more, is um, basically if you upload something different than everyone else. Um, I know like if you say everyone uploads Black Ops videos already. Like if you love Black Ops and you want to upload videos and you're good at Black Ops, even if you're, even if you're not good at Black Ops and you wanna and you wanna upload and commentate over a video, then absolutely go ahead. Um, if it's your game, then and you love doing stuff like that for it, then you absolutely go ahead. But um, personally, when I when I do a commentary, I love to I love to bring something different to it. Um, I definitely don't like playing like posting. Well, I love playing Black Ops, but I don't like posting. Um, Black Ops videos because it's just to me there's there's so many of them on the internet already that people people just don't care about them as much anymore and I but again if you love them and then I then absolutely do them I'm not saying that Black Ops videos are bad or anything I'm just saying that if you want to get more well known then you should really well you don't have to but what I love to do is just upload something different um like I just it's like because I like say this sorry I'm totally just out of my train of thought here um. Say like this Homefront video. 
I'm basically like just just uploading this. I don't. It's something different. You don't see that many home front videos. I know there's a lot of them out there. I'm not saying I'm the most unique person in the world or anything, but um, when you upload something different like Home Front or like Team Fortress 2 or something like that, or even like Monday Night Combat, I don't. I don't know. Um. Um, when you upload something different, then people say, oh, I've never seen that before, I might, I might check this out. And if, the, especially if they haven't played the game before, then they might say, oh, I want to check this out and see if I, see if I might like the game. So, um, by uploading different stuff, then, um, you basically open doors to, for new people finding your content more, I, I find. Uh, more than, like, say, a Black Ops video, at least. And I know, um, I know it sounds like I'm harping on Black Ops and all this stuff, but I'm, I'm absolutely not. I love the game, but, um, it's just not, it's just not, like, the wow factor for me anymore because there's just so much of it on YouTube. Um, I guess another I guess another thing coming up, going is going. What am I What am I talking about? <laughs> um, I guess another thing that would that could kind of help you kind of get more well known on YouTube and all this stuff is like try if is if you find a channel like say Console Buffoonery, which you're most likely watching this video from. Um. Then you will basically then if you get your videos posted on a channel like that, you're max you're maximizing or helping to maximize um, the count of your of subscribers you might get. And um, I told I was really pissed off at these guys up here because they were there was like a squad of them all with kill streaks just camping up there, and I was like, no, I need to I need to kill all you guys. So I I ran here, managed to managed to get the knife in the guy's back, and I was I was super duper happy. And then I go back in, into actually playing the game after I after I kill those no good no good campers baby so yeah when you find a if if you really want to get well known I guess you need to really just kind of try to find a channel like say console buffoonery where you can get your videos posted every now and then just help to get more views to your videos because I know everyone says oh don't worry about views and all this stuff it's just like just post good content and views will come to you um that is unfortunately that is not how it works at all um you basically <laughs> You need to advertise, 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 and I don't mean, I don't mean going on to some really well-known CNANDERS video and then say, "Hey guys, check out my channel." Okay, thanks, bye. Um, like, if you if you're gonna post advertisements on a video like that, um, at least leave a well thought out. At a, oh, oh, sorry, ugh, I'm stuttering this morning. I I hate myself for that. But yes, if you're gonna leave a, an advertisement on a video like that. At least, at least leave a nice, well thought out message, to, like saying, um, "I really would appreciate if you guys would just check out my channel for a second. I'm not saying you have to, but if you have the time and you're not doing anything, then it would be I'd be really super appreciative, and it would be really, really nice of you to do. And um, basically, that is that that might get more people to watch it than say than saying, "Oh my God, check out my channel. I'm so awesome. Okay, thanks. Bye." Like. Everyone's just gonna harp on you. You're gonna, you're gonna get a bunch of thumbs down, and it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a good time. And I I definitely wasn't having a good time trying to fend off this tank and uh, like have it not kill me. But this guy wasn't having a good time when I shot him in the feet with a rocket, bitch. Yeah, you got you got nothing on me. And uh, yeah. So basically, when you if you're advertising, just don't be don't be a dick about it. Be very be very nice. <laughs> and. So basically, that's pretty much how what I've done personally to get um a little bit more well known. I'm not well known at all. Again, I know that, but you know, it's just like it's a slow process. I recognize that, and I think a lot of people they just end up saying like after a month they're just like, oh no, I only have 20 subscribers. That I'm terrible. I'm gonna stop, or or they just get bored or something. Like I've been at this for about three months now, I think, and I've I just broke the 100 subscriber mark, and um. I was super excited about it because, to me, it, like everyone, I don't, I don't know. I think there's this like thing in everyone's brains that unless you have more than a thousand subscribers, then you're nothing. Well, to me, having just a hundred subscribers is like, wow. Um, it's like to me, I just picture putting a hundred people into a room, and then oh wait, I'm chasing this guy, chasing, chasing. Come on, get him, get him, knife him in the knife him in the back. Do it, yeah, yeah. You got you got nothing on me. Okay, yeah. What was I talking about? That okay. Uh, yeah. So for me, having a hundred, having a hundred subscribers was what? What was that guy doing? Whoa. Okay. Enough sidetracking. Okay. Getting to my point finally. Um. Yeah. So when I think of my hundred subscribers, hundred, well, more than a hundred by now. Um. I just think of all those people in one room together. You know. Imagine a hundred people in in a room together, and that is my subscriber base. 
It's like I ha I have a hundred people sitting in like a seminar or something in my mind, and I'm just like, wow, all these people are sitting here and they want to hear what I have to say. And to me, it's like it's just kind of wow because um, like I like no one ever really cares what I what I want to say. Everyone just kind of I, I I always fade into the background in real life and all this stuff. And to me, having like just having a hundred people who wanna who want to see what I what I do next is like it's just it feels really good to me. I don't I can't really explain why. Um, babe, I'm just a loner like that. I don't I don't know. But um, to me, it's like it's not about getting it's not about having the subscribers. It's getting the subscribers and being just being a nice person and like being nice about it. You don't to get subscribers. You don't you just can't be a dick <laughs> at all. You really have to be just a genuinely nice guy. And I know, and like, personally, I think I am a genuinely nice guy. Um, I crack a bunch of jokes all the time and stuff, but like, I'm not, I'm not mean about it or anything. I just have a lot of fun, and I, I didn't see that guy when I ran up there. That was a, that was a mistake on my part. Um, so yeah, when, uh, it, yeah, and again, when you're on YouTube, if you want to separate yourself from all the trolls, just don't be, don't be a troll. Like, I, like, it sounds really simple, but, like, even if you don't like a video, like, if you don't like a video, then don't comment on it. Or just thumbs down it and just leave. Um, you don't need to say leave a comment saying all oh, your video sucks and all this stuff. Like, you know that's that's just common common courtesy to not be a dick. And um, like a thumbs down gives the gives the video the person who uploaded the video that is um, enough indication that someone didn't like their video and that they might and that might make them try to change it. But if you say something like oh my god you suck and then you leave a bunch of swear words after every word and all this stuff, it's like. That won't make the person want to change their video. That just makes the person hate you. Um, and if you really didn't like a video, or if you really had a suggestion of what to do, um, then leave a nice, leave a nice criticism, like constructive criticism, instead of saying, "Oh, you suck," and then again a bunch of swear words. It's like, to me, that's just not a not a very good thing. And it's just like it's not going to make people change their videos. They're not going to bend to your every swearing will. And it's really. It's really quite dumb that people think that that actually works, and I realize a lot of those people might be like these little ten-year-olds that just learn swear words, and they think that it's really cool to use them all the time. And uh, I realize that's the case, but uh, even they should probably know that like swearing doesn't equal you being liked or you being cool or anything. Like, just keep it to a minimum. I it's just it's just nicer to be it's cooler to be a nice person in the, in the long run. So just just keep that in mind, everyone. And uh, basically, other than that, I'd like to, I guess I'd like to say, like, give like a, uh, why am I stuttering so much today? This is, this is me in the morning. I, I apologize for all you people <laughs> having to listen to this. But, um, I guess I'd like to say a, like, a huge thank you to, um, Console Buffoonery in a whole, because this is my, this is my first video on their channel. I hope you guys, I hope you guys are all enjoying it, and, um, it's like, it's just such a great, de it's a, it, Ugh, stop stuttering, Chris. Jesus. Jeepers. Jeepers. Um, it's just such a great honor for me to be on a channel that has over 2,000 subscribers right now. And it's like, I don't I don't know. It's like they contacted me. They said, hey, we need Homefront videos on there. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then I looked at their subscriber base and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, it may not seem like the biggest thing. Like, why am I saying like so much? I gotta stop criticizing myself here. I, I apologize, everyone. But it just seems as if it's the, it's just, it's a small channel, but it's a, it's a big channel to me. And I just feel so, so awesome when I have a, when I ha get, have, post my video. Urgh, I'm getting so mad at myself here. <laughs> it just seems so great when I post my video and, pe and I, it might get more than 200 views. Because that's a, that's a rare thing on my channel right now. And I'd just like to, like to say thank you so much to Console Buffoonery for giving me this opportunity. Hopefully I can keep doing this every Sunday. I definitely enjoy doing this. And, and uh, having vi my videos get a bit more attention and knowing that, uh, that a channel loves to, that a channel thought I was good enough to put on their channel is, uh, is a great thing. So I guess basically that's it, everyone. So uh, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching, and I will, I will see you sometime, man. Like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Thanks. Bye.